What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Anthony Joshua is coming out in an article by Metro Sports in the UK. He's basically squashed those rumors about him being knocked down and sparring prior to the Andrew Ruiz fight. And uh, basically saying that he didn't uh, suffer a panic attack. He said those are silly rumors, man. He's basically saying people are trying to uh, get famous off him, trying to become relevant off him. He says, and quote, quote, I'm going to paraphrase. He says, it's a shame when you beat a guy up every round and uh, dominate him in sparring. And he comes out and says that he knocks you down in, in, uh, in, the, in sparring. You know, he comes out with the rumor that, you know, he comes out and basically uh, spreads the rumor that he knocks you, uh, he knocks you down in sparring, man. He says it's complete BS. Didn't happen. He says uh, he, just, he just people just want to, you know, become relevant, relevant off of him. And he just hates that people are not being real about the situation, man. And he says he laughs off again of the panic attack. He said it wasn't a panic attack. He said he said, what is a panic attack? He said, no, no, no. He started laughing. He said, man, I didn't have a panic attack. So from his uh, point of view, all those rumors that uh, are excuses that people made after he lost to Andrew Reeves is a bunch of BS. Give him credit for that, man. At least he's not uh, trying to... Uh, you know, weigh in on the propaganda, propaganda or feed into the propaganda that a lot of his uh, fans have came out with, saying, "Oh man, he was he had a he had a panic attack, man. Something wasn't right with AJ. AJ AJ has problems, man. There's some problems going on with him, man. He had a panic attack, man. He should have never came out there. He wasn't ready to fight. He wasn't a real AJ out there. Basically, trying to insinuate that it was a fluke that uh, Andrew Reeves actually uh, knocked out uh, Anthony Joshua." And uh, he's come out in this article. It's just uh, debunked all of that. So give him credit for that, man. I uh, don't agree with a lot of other things he was saying about uh, Andrew Reeves landing a lucky punch, you know, taking credit away from uh, Andrew Reeves' win. But, you know, at least he doesn't uh, – he's not feeding into those excuses, man, saying he had a panic attack. And we, who knows about the uh, actual getting knocked down and sparring. You know, uh, a lot of people said that he got knocked out and sparring. He, 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 he quickly uh, disputes that. And he disputes that he was knocked down in sparring. So, you know, he's basically saying that did not happen. He did not get – he said he basically dominated Joey DeWatchko. DeWatchko? DeWatchko? Or Joey DeWatchko? I know I'm butchering his name. I think it's Joey DeWatchko. I, I watched him fight uh, – he had a fight about a month ago on uh, – I believe it was on FS1. He was on the undercard. No, no, no. He was on the zone. The zone. The zone undercard. And he and he uh, he got some skills, man. Kind of a chubby guy. You know, he got a frame similar to uh, Adam Konoski, but he's not nearly as skilled as Konoski and nearly as relentless. But he's got a little skills, man. He got a little skills where he can kind of slip punches and he got a little jab and he got a, you know, he knows how to box a little bit. He's not a uh, journeyman. You know, he's not a guy without skill, put it like that. But uh, it's not far-fetched to see maybe he might have knocked down uh, Anthony Joshua. Well, everybody knows Anthony Joshua does have a glass chin. You know, that's been exposed in the Vladimir Klitschko fight and the Andy Ruiz fight. And Andy Ruiz went into that fight not known as a knockout artist, and he dropped him uh, multiple times in that fight. So he does have a little bit of a, you know, he does have a glass jaw. So it's not far-fetched to see that he might have got knocked down in sparring, even with headgear on. So that's not far-fetched, but he said it didn't happen. Uh, Joy DeWashko hasn't really went out his way to squash the rumors that, it, that he did knock out uh, Anthony Joshua. When they asked him about it, he basically gave a no comment. He never, he didn't uh, refute or uh, deny it. So we, we don't know. It's just like I say, back in the day, stuff that happened in uh, sparring stayed in sparring. But this new generation, they like to, uh, they like to uh, release vi video footage of sparring. I saw uh, sparring with um, with uh, Shakur Stevenson versus um, uh, what's the boy with uh, what's the guy with uh, Eddie Hearn. Uh man, the prospect, uh, Dev Devin Haney. I'm tripping. I can't remember. <laughs> Devin Haney. I saw a sparring with Devin Haney versus uh, Shakur Stevenson. That was a high-level sparring. And uh, I thought uh, Shakur actually got the better of him. And uh, Devin Haney was uh, you know, far, further along at that point when they sparred. He was a further along. had been been fighting uh, professionally longer. had been further along. But uh, Shakur, Shakur, Shakur Stevenson not only held his own, but I thought he outpointed him in sparring. But that was sparring, man. You don't know what uh, Devin Haney and these people were trying to get done in that sparring. They might have been trying to work on some things and figure out some things in there. They might not have been necessarily in full, 
you know, like you would be going into a real fight, you know, implementing your game plan and doing what you got to do to implement your strength and take away the opponent's weaknesses. They might have been working on some things. So that's what people don't understand. In sparring, man, you're not, that's not a real boxing match. A lot of times you're working on things, you're telling the opponent, hey, this is what I want you to do. And I'll, you know, and I'm, I'm going to try to counteract that. You know, you go into that, in that fight, you know, you're telling them what you want to do. All right, go to my body because I want to kind of work on my, uh, on my, on, on my, 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 me absorbing body punches and me trying to, uh, you know, slip, you know, get out of the way of the body punches and me try to counter a guy that's trying to go to my body. It's stuff like stuff to that nature. You work on those things in sparring. So what stays in, what, what happens in sparring stays in sparring. Just like what, hap what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's how it's supposed to go. But this new millennials, they're, uh, they're, they're, <laughs> they're dropping dimes left and right on uh, sparring, you know, releasing videos and coming out in interviews saying what they did in sparring to a particular fighter that's maybe, uh, you know, Getting getting a lot of love, getting a lot of hype at that time. So hopefully uh, <laughs> that stuff was you know go back to where it was in the old days, man. Where it was, what it was what, like I said, what was kept, what happened in sparring stays in sparring. But that's what AJ says, man. He says squash that didn't happen. All right, me getting knocked down in sparring didn't happen. Me having a panic attack in the locker room before the fight didn't happen. So it's all good, man. But we'll see what happens, man. We hopefully we'll get an announcement about the uh, AJ. Uh, Ruiz rematch, man. Hopefully it'll take place. I'll put my man on, money on it happening in America. Um, you know, Eddie Hearn really dropped the ball trying to stay, you know, trying to call, you know, trying to, well, he had a press conference in London saying the fight was going to take place December 7th in uh, Saudi Arabia, knowing that, uh, did not knowing that our own state government has said that it's not safe to travel to Saudi Arabia. It has advised all U.S. citizens not to travel to Saudi Arabia. So he has a, a strong argument, a strong case with the State Department that he shouldn't be traveling to uh, Saudi Arabia due to safety reasons. So I don't see that fight happening there. Uh, so we'll see what take place, man. And I think uh, that fight will be happening in uh, America. And if, and if I had to uh, choose a city in America, I think it's going to happen in the Madison Square Garden in New York, man. That's, that's what I believe, believe that's where that fight's going to end up. But we'll see how it plays out, man. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holler.